Good morning, everyone. Okay, I'm not in the stores today, but I am going to show you an awesome deal. So this week, you can snag the new O-Cedar mop at Target for like under $40 with two fillers. Um, you can go to the link to see how, but I wanted to know, did, has any of y'all gotten this? And the reason why this is new, and I'm going to tell you the pros and cons, and I'm also going to tell you the really, really sad con on it, but I'm going to wait until more people hop on. But this is awesome because how many of y'all are kind of grossed out because you put your mop, your clean mop into the dirty water in your old O-Cedar. And so the big problem was, is, you know, you're putting your, your mop into the dirty water. So they started, they started this new one. And so this new one has it separate. So you put the clean water goes underneath. So I'm going to show you how to use this and I'm going to show you the secret. Good morning, Lunk. I bet you're starting school soon. Um, I kind of wondered about that with school supplies. I think of you because I know you're a teacher. So um, when are you starting school? So, okay, I would like to know, okay, two things. One, do you sweep before you mop? And what do you mop in? There are actually mop shoes, which are crazy. And Nicole, if you're on, if you can kind of share that link. I have not gotten those, but I think they're hilarious. I just do my tennis shoes. I do sweep before, so I sweat before. Or sometimes I run the, the vacuum on it. Okay, so what I do is I use method, and so I just kind of squirt some of that in there. So I'm just gonna kind of squirt a little in there, and I always make sure that my water's hot. Um, you know, whatever. You do you. Um, you use whatever. You, pine salt's on sale. You can actually get pine salt with the O-Cedar mop um, and at Target on sale because you have to spend 50. That could be a great filler or anything. So what you do is you fill this in here. So I'm filling this in here. And you can see through, which is awesome. This is a great thing about that. I can see through and see how much my water is filling up. And I have enough to kind of, I so bad want to do the other sprayer thingy. Okay, so here's the thing that you need to know before doing this. Okay, so here's what's so cool. Hey, Linda, hey, Dana. Um, thank you, La Letitia. Okay, so jo Jamie reminded me of this shirt the other day when we were kind of chatting, and I was like, I love this shirt. It reminds me, John 3.30, he must become greater, I must become less for sure. Um, okay, so here's the thing. What, what happens is, is there's like a little thing here, and it kind of puts water in here. So you want to kind of, you're going to lift this up, and it puts water. The, here's the trick, though. You only want to put a little bit of water. So I don't know if you can see, but I have it just filled to that line there. You see how I fill this to that line? Because if you put too much water in, you're going to have the same thing as the other mop where you're going to have a lot of the clean water. And then whenever you put it back in, you you know, so it's just you have to put a little bit, just enough to put your mop, get your mop wet. So it, when you get one, if you get one, and I'll tell you the con to it too while I'm mopping. But... Um, Okay, so you got to have enough. So here, I'm going to kind of show you. It's kind of hard to do this. I wanted to make sure I had it. Okay, can you see this? Well, I can't kind of move my phone because if I do, I think it's going to all fall. And that would happen to me because that's what happens to me every Facebook Live. I do something really weird. Um, okay, so I'm going to put this in here. Okay, and then kind of get it a little wet. If it's not wet enough, I, I will put a little more water in. So I'm still learning this trick, as you can tell. Okay, so I want to get this as wet as I can. Y'all tried to teach you a trick, and I don't think I learned it well. So probably do double what I just did. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I'm just kind of getting this as wet as I can. Okay, so all that water is gone. And you can even, if there's still water left, I would highly recommend just kind of putting it back in there, seeping all that clean water out. Okay, and that's gone. So I'm good and I'm golden and I'm just gonna kind of do that with it. I don't really have to do a whole lot of that whenever you're mopping. So I'm gonna kind of move this around and I'm gonna kind of mop. And as I'm mopping, I'm going to tell you the con, the, the very bad news about this. So I'm gonna mop, so here I am. I always mop this mat because it's like always nasty. Um, okay, so the con to it is, is I was really saddened. I thought for sure that this was the same head as the old mop, and it's not. So I have a whole bunch of refills to the old mop. So I'm going to use my old mop until I'm done with my refills, and then I'll go back to using this. So if you have refills, then you're going to want to use that old mop 
until you get this one because I'm so, so and of course I know it's so they can make more money but it's just sad to me that they can't do the same size but it may be because this is so small that they had to make this smaller because that is small so that's probably most likely what happened they want to keep it the same size and I think I feel like maybe it's a smaller thing mount system so let me get my other one and kind of see this may actually be a smaller one or maybe it's the same size yeah, it's just the same size, pretty much. Yeah, it's pretty much the same size. It just looks smaller because it has this little thingy in here. So that's the con to it. I was really sad because I have a whole bunch of refills that I got on Prime Day. That was a really good deal. So I'll just constantly use this. Now, I will say this one thing. We had a reader, and she was really awesome, and she said she got a Dollar, a dollar Tree bucket, and she put it underneath this. I don't, I couldn't find anything like that, so I was really hoping that I would, or maybe she just puts it in there. That's probably what she does. She probably just puts it in here, and then she just spins it dirty. That's, y'all, I'm kind of slow on that. That would have been smart to do, and I could have saved, but I just, I knew I was going to do a Facebook Live for this, so I got one anyway. So, you can determine, I would love to know, comment and tell me, do you think it's worth it or not? Um, put a bucket in the clean water in the tub, and your other one and separates clean water from the old. Sarah, were you the one that told me that trick? Okay, because that is it. So you just put your clean bucket here, and then you just put your dirt, you, and then you just spend your dirty, and then you just saved $40. Um, but I did do an awesome scenario for the household um, target thing. I just use the old mop with the new bucket. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I can, let me see if that works. Y'all, thank y'all, because you know what? Y'all, <laughs> Y'all. sometimes I'm, I'm slow in life. That is brilliant. Let me see if I can do that. So let me try to do that. See, this is why I need y'all, because y'all are smarter than me. Um, you know, it's like the he, be, he comes greater and I becomes less, you know. It's like always humility whenever you have to learn these things. And you're like, oh, why didn't I think of that? Okay, y'all. Let's see if it fits. Yeah. It doesn't fit. That's why. That's why. It, well, let me see. Yeah. So, I just saved y'all some time. Yeah, it doesn't fit. I wish I could do that, because that would have been awesome. So, that's why. They had to change the size because this is too big. Um, so what you can do is if you have this one, you want to get a Dollar Tree bucket. One that's small. I could not, again, I couldn't find a small one right here. But you could just put a small one in here or you could just do it on the side. But I just feel like that's a lot of work. So this would actually be easier. I am sad that my things aren't going to work. But again, I can just use this until um, I use it. Because I just don't want my refills to go to waste um, because that would be crazy. Um, okay, is there any other questions? Because I have both, but the new one water container doesn't last long. I have to refill it seven times to mop my entire house. Okay, so Michelle, it does seem like more work. I didn't have one already, so I did end up buying the new one, the water reserve, and love it. However, I I would I didn't see that. Darn, I didn't see it. Oh well. Um, okay, so Here's the thing, I would say definitely just decide if your house, like our house is pretty much all tile. And so, except for the bedroom. So we have a lot. I, I've had enough water though to last, but I also kind of get it to where I get it a little wet. So what I do is I don't like get it to where it's really dry. I get it to where it's like really sopping wet. And I'm able actually to mop most of the half, like a fourth and a fourth and then like so I'm able to do it with one bucket and it's fine. So I don't know. I think it just all depends on how much water you use. Um, so I, okay, is there any other questions? I know that, again, I really do love the concept because I always thought that that was gross putting my, I, it didn't make sense in my head. Our old house didn't have a whole lot of, um, like it had more carpet than anything. So our old house, this one was fine. Um, so if you don't have a lot of hardwood or tile or anything like that in your house, I would definitely recommend this one, but if you have a lot, I would I would recommend this. I think I think that's my end. Um, as I'm talking to y'all and talking this through, I think that that's what I would definitely say. So this is the time to buy, though. You can go to the link and figure out how to get this for forty dollars. Um, again, it's all in your budget if you have it. If not, an old mop is just fine. So um, okay, so how do you clean it? That is a good question. Okay, so whenever you clean it, I will show you how to do that really fast. Um, okay. I feel so wasteful, but that's okay. It's not that much. Um, okay, so to clean it, you just kind of, usually I don't have this much water in here. Okay, so you just have to, 
take it. I used this. I did clean this. I promise I did last time I used it. Um, it always seems more difficult when you're in front of people doing things. Just so you know, if you've ever done a Facebook Live, you would know this. Okay, so this is... I don't know why this is okay so at any rate that seems more difficult than it should be um i don't know why that is not last time whenever i cleaned it it was fine so i just kind of take this put it in here and what i do is i take this and wash it and then i put a little more clean water and the reason why i put the little clean water in is more to clean the um the mop than it anything so i just do this and that way I have clean water and then I put the mop in here to kind of get all of the nasty that was on my floor and then I do wash these in the washer I was talking to the guy at Target yesterday he was the sweetest guy and uh, we were talking about the new mops the pros and cons so it kind of prepared me for today and uh, he asked how long these usually last and I said well I usually mop a few times with it and then I throw it in the washer and wash it on the quick cycle and then I have it for another few things. So that kind of just cleans the mop in the mop so it's nice and clean. And then I just do this. See, this is so nasty. If you could see how nasty that mop was. And I just do that and then I just clean it again just to get all the nasty out. It does seem like a lot of work, but I promise it doesn't seem more as I'm explaining it than anything. Okay. And then. That's that. And then this one, I just don't clean it. I guess I just didn't clean it last time, or maybe I did. I don't know. Um, but you, what you can do to clean it, that's what I did. You just kind of take this, and you just kind of do that with it. And that cleans it out. And then you just stuff it back, back in there, and it's done. So there's my, there's, I would love to know your opinion. I'm going to go back and rewatch or reread all of the comments and everything when I get done. I'm about to go exercise and then I will be back on. So I would love to know again, um, the two questions I asked is, do you sweep before you mop? That's just out of my curiosity. What do you wear and what is your, what, which one would you prefer? Um, and again, go to the link if you're looking for one um, for the uh, sale price. I hope you all have a great day. Thank you again for joining me. Suffering through that, you know, um, and seeing if you like the mop, which one you like. And, you know, again, this is like, um, I just love the mop in general. So either one is fine, but I tell you, this saves your back. It just saves your back. It isn't the most awesome system. It just is. So I hope you all have a great day. And again, thank you so much for joining. Bye.